Starbucks sweatpants Sephora. Who am I? This. I want to do swipe it. Hey loves, it's your favorite blind chick back on your screen with another one. You know what time it is when Sephora does their fall VIB sale. I got a haul for y'all. In this one, I'm gonna be sharing a few things. Don't let this big bag fool you. I didn't get that much, especially compared to years before. Click here if you wanna see when I used to go off. But in this bag of tricks, I got a couple things that I wanted to share with you guys, and I definitely wanna know what you were looking out for, so put that down in the comment section below. First things first, let's take this out of the bag, cause this ain't from Sephora, it's the body shop. Wait. When did the body shop become so expensive? Because the last time I checked, this did not used to be $25. That's out of the way. The first thing we're gonna take out the bag today is, is this a summer Friday thing? Please bear with me. Being blind and bougie, it's hard to see. So the first thing I got, is this upside or downside? Which side is the right side? I think it's this way. This is the summer Friday trio pack. I saw this and I figured when I did the math, the math was mathing. How do I open this? Am I the only weirdo that prefers to open packages from the bottom? Why is this so difficult? Like, sir, it's not treasures trapped in here. What kind of, what What in the Indiana Jones is this? Why, why is this a booby trap? This better be worth it for all the struggle. So, it comes in a tin, which I thought was pretty. This would be really good for a gift. And I might actually pack one of these as a stocking stuffer for a friend, but I figured since I'm always losing my lip balms, like it's a problem, I'm always losing my lip balms, I might as well get these three. I'll put all the prices after discount for these items down below, just so you know. Here we go. I'm gonna put the bag here for now. I've always loved Summer Friday's packaging. I'm so happy they changed the bottom because those caps before, if you know, you know, it wasn't it. But this comes in three colors. I can't wait to use them. Smells like vanilla, as per usual. And even now they have a tip, because the last time it was just a sharp metal bit. Like really? This is an upgrade, so I'm excited to use these. Especially since winter is coming, no Game of Thrones. And if you know, you know, that's when dry lip season hits hard. Here is an oldie but a goodie. This is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD. I am in Amber 445. If you see the vlog, you already know how much struggle it is for a blind chick to try to find her color on her own, but thank God for the magnification app because I was e able to zoom into that. I almost bought four, five, five, and that would have been a big no-no. This has been my go-to for, I wanna say six, seven years. It might've even been longer. I try Givenchy and it gives, don't get me wrong, but this is more of a true match to me. And for some reason, it's like the sisterhood of traveling foundations. I can use it all year round. When it's summer, I can add a little bit of Laura Mercier to darken it up. If it's winter, I can put some tarte on top and I'm good to go. I've never been one to be into the holiday sets, but for some reason, I was sucker for this. It's a three pack with a scrubby and the soap for the beauty blenders. I've been using the last beauty blender for two years, which is all types of nasty. I mean, I wash it really well every time and I sterilize it, but that's still nasty. So I figured this time, let's get these. For the price of three, when I did the math, it was mathing. $17 each. So I mean, 26 Canadian dollars versus 17. I ain't mad at it. Watching a video and Makeup by Mario sold me on this. It's super black. It's a pencil liner that I hope is blind girl friendly because I have been getting worse and worse and worse at doing my eyeliner to the point where I stopped buying liquid eyeliner two years ago and I was about to get off a of pencil too, but I still like the look. I don't want to give it up. So I'm hoping if I can open this dutty box that this is blind girl proof. I don't know why I'm smelling it. Am I okay? Clearly not. It has a little brush. Ooh, that is thin, thin. Or maybe just because I can't see it well, I'm assuming it's thin. But you can use the brush to kind of drag it out. It's kind of sad the things you take for granted when you can see perfectly. And then as vision gets worse, you're kind of like, um, but wait, I used to be able to do this yesterday. <laughs> Never mind. This one is a repurchase. It's actually gonna be a backup because I have one in the cut, but I just, when it's a sale, it's your best time to stock up. These are expensive. So I figured I use this on the daily. This has been the only way that I've been able to keep my brows looking good. Why does this look smaller? Did I buy the mini by accident? Nope, it's a 
same thing. If you don't know, you need to know. These are the Precisely My Brows by Benefit, aka the best brow pencil that's ever hit the market. Honestly, I used to be on Brow Wiz forever. Then I tried a whole bunch of things. I tried Fenty Beauty, which isn't bad. I actually like that brush, it's different. But this, if you can't see well, if you can see well, you need to try it. Everything from the spoolie being stiff AF to this being ultra fine, fine life, fine line. I'm telling you, if you want your brows to look perfect, they're not playing with the precision part. This is where it's at. There's only a few more goodies in here, as in samples and one thing. Wow, this is literally the shortest haul of all. I'm so proud of myself. I thought there was one more. Oh, it was sold out, so I ordered it online. Okay, so in this little bag is perhaps the thing I'm most excited about, so I saved the best for last. Sorry about the crinkling. This is the Joe Malone Mira and Tonka. Oh my gosh, they had to get this in the back because they were sold out of this size. They have two sizes. This is the 50 mil, or is it 30? I can't remember, and then they have the 100 mil. I went for the smaller size because I don't know about you guys, but I like my apartment hot. And because I do, my perfumes turn on me real quick. So I figured if I get the smaller one, then I can probably use it before it goes bad. And plus, isn't it so cute and pretty? I don't even use the word cute often, but this is the epitome of cute. Very sleek, sophisticated, just like the scent. Oh my gosh. To me, this is like a day version of Rolling in Love, which you guys know I got this time last year as my birthday gift. Oh my God, it's so good. These are technically considered colognes. They're unisex. So I could definitely see a man getting away with this, but this has my name all over it. It was between this and Angel's Share. When I saw the price tag, I was like, that can stay on the shelf because it smells good. It's my vibe, but at the end of the day, honestly, am I gonna spend $300 for a perfume? One day, but that day is not today, so. I'm happy with this one. It's so pretty. It's gonna do really well with my collection. It's even one that I could probably layer with a few other things. Like I'm feeling like this with Killian Princess. Ooh, talk about a signature scent. Can't wait to hear from you. So let me know down below what you grabbed from the Sephora sale or what you were looking for. I heard a couple people when I was walking around the store ask if such and such was sold out. And I forgot there was a time when people would wake up and get in line to get like that thing. I just. I'm so out of the loop when it comes to beauty. One, because I can't see my face, and two, because we're in a panorama, so who cares anyway? Love to know what you guys got or are thinking of getting. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like button, subscribe for more. If you're new around here, stick around, watch some more, chill with me for a bit. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.